hello guys there is another video for you today we're gonna get into BIOS to change the boot option for Lenovo IdeaPad 320s the reason I'm making this video because this is little bit tricky it seems like very simple BIOS system and navigation but end of the day it's really really hard I've received a lot of text messages that they are unable to get into BIOS. So what happened is, first is first, with all the Lenovo IdeaPad series, they have a button, which is right hand side for this model, right here, it's called Novo button. Once you click in here, then it will take you directly to all the extra features like BIOS features and stuff. So I'm gonna show you where's the button is. By the way, I replaced the hard drive, so I open it up. Okay. It's right next to the memory card slot. There is a button. So what you need to do? First, plug in your USB. Fine. And then put the power cable if there is no charge. But I always highly recommend you. If you try to reinstall your system, make sure the power cable is on okay then what you should do you just need to click in here as you can see where i'm clicking it's right hand side in there okay it will make little click noise okay like old-fashioned torch light switch okay so now it's turning on this is the logo okay okay so after that that's the screen would come up so first just to show you the settings that how I organize the page D to change your boot option from UEF so as you can see there are three different devices uh, the boot option could take but it was not like that it ha it comes up as you can see my USB um, USB bootable thumb drive it was not visible here it comes up after I change the setting from UEFI to legacy mode okay so I'm gonna shut down the machine then I will get into BIOS and I will show you which one you need to make it disable and which other one you need to put it in the enable mode due to change your boot option and boot type okay so let's turn it off press and hold okay it's completely turned off now I need to click again on the BIOS noble button which is that one one second is too big for it yeah okay so now if I go to BIOS setup okay the first page is fine you don't have to change anything and as you can see Lenovo IdeaPad 320s okay and let's go to configuration okay make sure on configuration you change the SATA controller mode okay normally it comes in Intel RST premium okay so if it's on Intel RST premium it would not work so make sure your settings is like that so let's get into it first USB legacy of course enable and then SATA controller mode AHCI if you want to turn uh, on or boot it from external any device you must have to put it on a HCI okay and then second one is the power beep you can keep it on disable and then always on USB enable that's fine now let's go to the next option which is security okay in security make sure you always Keep Intel platform trusted technology disabled and Intel SDX enabled. All right, check again. Okay. Then the next one is boot, which is most important. Okay, once you done this two page according to my procedure, the next boot option, normally legacy support option, you can't see it unless you change the configuration and security option, the format that I changes. The next one on boot, you can customize it. You can change it to from, I mean, uh, from 
UEFI to legacy support. Otherwise, you can't change UEFI to legacy support. That's what happened, okay? So now, as you can see, there are two options is on, and then um, boot priority. Okay, so obviously boot priority legacy first, otherwise it would not turn on. And the make sure first boot option, which is called fast boot, disable, and then USB boot always enable. Once you do that, then the machine straight away, it will load it up from external USB or external DVD drive or any other stuff, all right? So let's save it by pressing F10 and see what happens. Save it. <coughs> okay. Okay. See, we now automatically the Windows system choose that one as a fast boot priority as we left our USB boot is enabled and legacy first. Okay. So that's how you change your... Um, boot option from new EFI to legacy mode for Lenovo IdeaPad 320S. It's very simple and straightforward. Follow step by step. Pause my video in security page, then obviously in boot page, the option, and then see how did I organize it, which one I put it in disable, which one I left it on enable, and then save the changes, just save the changes by pressing F10 and then system would restart and it will choose external device for boot all right so that's how simple it is i hope you like the video and if you do like it then please subscribe my channel for future videos thank you so much for watching and bye for now see you again